Hello, here we are again. Today, share three dessert ideas for Thanksgiving coming up or, you know, Christmas. They're all, they're all staples that you could bring to kind of any gathering um, in the fall. So the first one is gonna be apple crumble. We're gonna get that one started right away. And then we're gonna make a pumpkin maple cream trifle, hopefully. I have to verify I have pumpkin. I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm starting to second guess myself. So hopefully that one, I'm pretty sure I have it. And then the other last one is gonna be cranberry macadamia oat cookies. So I am not a baker, not a very good baker. Um, I try my best. So these are all three fairly easy, I will say, because if I'm making them, they have to be. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the apple crumble, yay! All right, so we're gonna start with our apples. I uh, pre-washed them. I just fill my sink up with water and this and then just let everything soak and it works really good. So we're gonna start first by peeling our apples. And these are Granny Smith apples. And then we're gonna take our apple core. This thing is the best, especially because I have a toddler that loves apples. And we're gonna go ahead and cut down. All right, and now I'm just gonna cut these in half and pop them in my batter bowl. Alright, so now we're gonna take our apples. Alright, two tablespoons of sugar and then a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Alright, and then we're just gonna mix these up. Get all the apples nice and coated. This smells so good. All right, and then we're gonna take our navel baker and dump them in here. Right, so I have about two tablespoons of butter I'm popping in here. And I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave to get it melted real quick. All right, that looks good to me. So one fourth of a cup of flour. Love this measuring cup because it has cups over, it's so small, it has cups over here, which is this is one fourth cup. It has tablespoons over here and ounces over here. Such a perfect measuring cup. And then we're also gonna add in one fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And real quick, I'm just gonna cut up some of these walnuts. one-fourth of a cup of chopped walnuts and then we're gonna do three tablespoons of old-fashioned oats and then we're just gonna mix this up really well And then last, we're just gonna sprinkle this all over the apples. I'm just gonna use my hands, because it's thick, so I feel like i better to do it with my hands. This smells amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, and into the oven this goes at 375 for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, well, I just tore apart my pantry. I don't have pumpkin. I think I misread the ingredients and I thought it said pumpkin pie spice, which I do have, but I don't have pumpkin. And I need canned pumpkin. So I'll make this recipe another time because I have everything else. And I bought a whole thing of pure maple syrup just for this recipe. So I will 100% make this recipe um, another day. So I guess we'll get on to the cookies. All right, so now on to the cookies. We're going to start by combining one and one third cups of flour. A half 
teaspoon of baking powder. And a half teaspoon of baking soda. And then we are going to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to mix all of this up. All right, so now we're gonna add in a cup of butter. We're gonna melt this real quick. Y'all, my whole house smells like this. Oh my goodness. This smells amazing. I think we're just gonna let it go for maybe 10 more minutes. All right, now that the butter is pretty much softened, we're gonna add in three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar. And a half of a cup of sugar. All right, and then we're gonna use our handy dandy mixer tool, the new flex prep, to mix this up. Now this tool is the best because it's wireless. And it can be used as a food processor, a hand mixer, or an immersion blender. You're able to get all rid of all three of those and have it all in one and it be wireless. How cool is that? Now we're gonna add in two eggs. And one teaspoon of vanilla. And now we're gonna add in our flour mixture. Delayed, cause keeps on calling, and the red man will not wait. So we get Perfect timing. My apples are done. Can we just take a moment? You guys, I wish you could smell my house right now. Oh my goodness, does it smell amazing? Yum. And now we're going to chop up about four ounces of macadamia nuts. Alright, and then we're also going to chop up some white chocolate. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and pour in the nuts and the white chocolate into our mixture. And we're just gonna stir this up. And now we're gonna stir in two and a half cups of oats. But certainly not least, one cup of dried cranberries. On this Christmas day. All right, we got our stone. All right, and then we're gonna use our scooper. And then into the oven these go for 15 minutes at 375. Okay, yum. I couldn't wait. I ate one already. So good. Obviously these kind of expanded, but that's all right. We got the other ones in the oven right now. Very, very, very good. All right, and that's a wrap. We have everything 
done. The cookies are finishing up. Um, but here is the apple crumble. You can see I took a little bite out of it. Oh my gosh. Put some. He's patiently waiting for his cookie. Does not like to be filled. Put some vanilla ice cream on this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Just like apple pie, but so much easier. And then the cookies. The cookies are really good. They make really big cookies and it makes a lot. It made about 24 and they're all about this size. So lots of cookies. So I would say the apple crumble was my favorite. I will be going to the store later tonight to get some vanilla ice cream. <laughs> so, and then here's the other batch about to go onto the cooling rack. And I have another batch in the oven. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm so sorry about the pumpkin trifle. I'm pretty bummed about that, but I will make up for it and I will make it at a later time um, once I get the can of pumpkin. I'll probably actually pick it up today and I'll make it sometime next week. Just not before Thanksgiving, unfortunately, but I hope you enjoyed these two recipes and I will see you in the next one. We're gonna be featuring three uh, drinks. So I'm excited for that one. Bye guys. Thank you.